Hola! In today's video, I'm going to be taking you behind the scenes on a portrait shoot I'm about to do in Spain. Now, there is actually a saying that the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain, but I can tell you now that is nonsense because unfortunately, it is down right now, which is not great because I was really hoping today's shoot would be done in lovely, warm light, but it's not going to be. It's dull, it's grey. It's a little bit chilly and it's raining, which is such a shame because it's such a beautiful place where I am. I'm in Malaga at the moment. As you can see, if I put the camera down here, it's amazing. The landscape, the architecture, it's such a beautiful city. Just a shame about the weather, but never mind. I'm sure we're going to have a lot of fun on this shoot anyway. I'm actually in Spain to help out my friend Chuck on a destination shoot that he had yesterday. We're only here for 48 hours, so yesterday was all the destination shoot, and Chuck has very kindly today organized a model for me to shoot, which is where this video is coming from. So firstly, a massive thank you to Chuck for inviting me on the trip. I've had so much fun, it's been amazing but also for organising today's model for me. Thank you Chuck, I really, really appreciate it. So I'm going to go back to the hotel now, meeting the model in about 15 minutes time, and I'm going to take you behind the scenes with me on the shoot. Now I don't know what the plan is yet, there isn't a plan basically, it's going to wander around and take some portraits, but it should be a lot of fun. I've only got three lenses with me, the Sony 35mm 1.8, the 85mm 1.8, and the Canon 50mm 1.2 with the Sigma adapter. Let's head back to the hotel now, get my bag ready, meet the model, and then see what happens. So, as we always do, let's crack on. Okay, so we're starting today's shoot in the hotel that myself and Chuck have been staying in. So here is the amazing Miriam. So thank you, Miriam, for doing this. I really appreciate it. Usually, I would like to start these shoots outside, but when we were just sat here having a drink over here, just saw the lights on the side here, which looked really nice. So when we underexposed for this scene, those lights will look really cool, I think. So what I'm gonna do first of all, this isn't counting, Miriam, I'm gonna take a shot of the lights without any speed lights just at the moment. So I'm trying to underexpose because those are LED lights, I'm, I'm sort of worried about the flicker. So I'm gonna shoot this at a hundredth of a second f1.8 and my ISO is at 100 and that gives us this underexposed shot which I think is really nice. So what we'll do now is we'll just add a speed light in just to light up Miriam. The chances are I may need to use an ND filter for this because it's very dark. So I'm going to use a Godox V860, I'm going to put on a magma grid and a eight stop ND filter, which is a form of a gel, put that on as well. And we'll put on a mag sphere, which is just a really nice modifier to use when you're shooting portraits, it just softens the edge of the light. So I'm gonna give this to you, Chucky, if that's okay. Thank you. Let me just get my trigger out. So I'm gonna have my Godox X2T trigger. Take the camera off here. So Chuck, if I can ask you just to stand about here for me, please. And Miriam, if I can ask you just to, just to sort of lean over the edge, if that's okay. So almost like I cannot pose, but almost like you'll, you'll be, I'll do it on this one. Okay. I excuse everybody watching for how bad this is going to look. <laughs> but you'll be doing something like this, maybe, okay. and be looking in that direction. So I'm going to go to the other side. Beautiful, perfect. So I'm going to put the flash on an eighth power. Yeah, that's really nice. Let's get my composition right. In fact, because we've got the, the eight stop on, I'm gonna go up to a quarter power. Three, two, one. Really nice. So now we've got our settings right, I'm gonna just move around and just change my composition up. Stunning. Just looking towards the light mirror, if that's okay. Yeah, excellent. Really nice. We'll go a little bit more directional. If I can put you a little bit further back, Chucky, if that's okay. That's it, yeah. And then just back at me, Miriam, if that's okay. Stunning. Really nice. Beautiful. Thank you very much. So that's just a quick shot to start off with in the hotel foyer. So we're now gonna head out, I think, to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> OK, 
okay, so we've, we've changed the plan slightly because we have the sun. And um, when the sun comes out, the plan changes for the good light. So we've come on our way to the beach, we stopped off at a little park and um, found this, this really nice couple of trees here, which I'd like to use. So Miriam, if I can ask you to stand, say here, please, that's okay. Now the sun, as you can see, is very, very high in the sky at the moment. It's probably like one of the worst times for actually shooting portraits right now. However, it is what it is. So we're going to make use of that light. So I'm just going to ask you to stand slightly to the side mirror, if that's okay. That's it. And just looking back at me and just like looking slightly up towards the light. Now it's going to, it might blind you, so you can close your eyes for a second. And I'm now on my Sony 35mm 1.8, which means I'm going to get a little bit closer to Miriam. And what I want to do is try and fill the frame with these purple flowers that we see here. Just chin up slightly towards like where the light is, if that's okay. That's it. Yeah, beautiful. Exactly. I also shoot with a very warm manual white balance. So I'm going to go up to, I'm going to, go to up to eight and a half thousand Kelvin, which is going to look really warm. But yeah, that's beautiful. Perfect, Miriam. Okay, so my exposure looks decent there. What I'm going to do is pinch a little bit of these little purple flowers. Just take this one, because I like to create foreground bokeh. So when we shoot now, I'm going to try and put this purple flower into the light, which is just gone, it's coming back. So I'm just going to put you back where you were, Miriam, if that's okay. Here. Yeah, please, yep. Yeah. And just close your eyes again, just going to get this exposure right. Oh yeah, the light's just gone a little bit. And then in a second, I'm going to ask you to open your eyes, Miriam. Oh, we might just wait a second for that sun to come back. Yeah. Unfortunately, the, the shoot that we did yesterday with the main man Chuck, here he is. We weren't blessed with the best weather, but Chuck did an amazing job using off-camera flash. We could do that here. Yeah, it's coming back now. We could do that here, but I'm being lazy. Yeah, eyes up again, if that's right. So just looking towards the light for me. Yeah, good. Again, just close, close your eyes, actually, because you blind yourself. Just really relaxing. And with your left hand, can you just play with your head? Just, oh, sorry, your, your, the other hand, that's it. Just put your head, that's it. While sort of like looking towards that. I'm just going to ask you to look where my hand is here, and then just slightly down, that, about there, yeah, that's it, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Gorgeous. And just while we keep you there, I'm going to just now shoot a little bit higher than you and shooting down while we've got that nice light. Yes, please. Actually, you can be looking down for this one. Okay. That's it. Just looking down with your eyes. Yeah, it's really good. So I'm trying to use side light here on Miriam. So we'll put your right hand just behind you this time. That's okay. it. And just playing with your hair with your with the other hand, but looking down for me. That's that. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. Let's put in a bit of purple again. And then just looking up to the camera, Miriam, if that's okay. Beautiful. Got to be careful not to overexpose here because the light is, is really harsh at times. And just looking down again, just with your eyes, up with your head, that's it. Good, that's beautiful. Perfect, and just before we leave here, I'm going to go a little bit wider, put our little flower back. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you want to just take a few steps back, Mira, and just walk towards me whilst looking up towards the light as you're walking, if that's okay? Sorry, yeah, I'm going to you to take a few steps back. Okay. And then just watch what you can even, if you want to hold your dress on and, and okay. we'll just try and be flicking it out, see if that works. No, but no, yeah, no, it's, it's fine. I quite like them. And as you're walking, I'll ask you to look to, up towards the light for me. Okay. That's it, yeah? Good. Own it. <laughs> That's brilliant. Perfect. Thank you very much. Excellent. Okay, I think we'll carry on now to the pier or the beach. <laughs> Okay, so we were walking to the beach, but as always happens, I'm not very good at sticking to a plan. We found this wall, which I just think, even though it's by the side of a very busy road, it's just going to be very cool for the leading line. So I'm going to change from my 35mm to the Canon 50mm 1.2. To make this lens work on my Sony A9, I have the Sigma MC11 adapter. So let's just, um, again, because we're at the side of a road and there's people walking past, so I'll put it on my back just want to be a little bit careful. So Miriam, if I can put you about here, please, just with your back against, about there, just okay. with your back against the wall, then you're just gonna be looking down this way. Beautiful. Let me just say at this point, Miriam, thank you again for doing this. Miriam's relatively new to modeling, but she's doing an amazing job. So Miriam's Instagram is below. So go and give her a follow. She's gonna be a big name. Beautiful. So I'm going to just to lean against the wall. Or just the... Yeah, just, just your back, yeah, that's good, yeah. And not looking straight down here. 
So this shot, I want it to be all about the leading line on the left hand side of the image. So obviously the whole point of using the 50mm 1.2 is for the really wide aperture. So I'm going to open it up to 1.2. My ISO is at 100 because we're in Spain, we have this bright light. And then just playing with your hair, sort of flicking your hair out if that, that's it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, actually no, with this hand we'll put it across your, that's it, yeah, that's good. Beautiful. This lens gives you a really nice vignette as well, which I really like. Gonna come a little bit closer. Let's go straight down here. Really good. Beautiful. And just really flicking that hair out, Miriam. And now we're just holding your hair now with this. So with this hand, we'll keep there. And this hand, just gonna just, that, okay, that's it. We're just gonna, like but we're gonna do it slowly. So, okay. so just nice and slow, just looking straight this way. Good. And last one. Perfect, thank you very much. Okay. So now we'll go to the beach. Take three for the beach. <laughs> Okay, so we're still not at the beach, but we've found this really lovely long pathway of palm trees, which you don't really get in Manchester, so I thought we'd make the most of this. Now the shame is I don't have my 135mm lens because this would be amazing to really shoot down the alleyway. I do have my Sony 85mm, so I'm going to go with that. And what I asked Miriam to do is, is basically walk down the middle. Oh, I've just spotted a puddle. So if we go down to the puddle, because that could give us a reflection. Let's just see if this will work. Possibly. On the 35mm I think it will. So I'm going to bring you down here Miriam, I'm going to stay shooting there. And you'll just walk down with sass. So basically you'll start about here. And as you're walking back to that puddle, I've had you to walk, just flipping your dress, <laughs> I can't do this. Just flipping your dress to the side, sort of looking up, smiling, really relaxed. Something like that. So this first one, we're not going to use the puddle because I'm on the 85, it'll be very tricky. Yeah, so go! That's good! Yes! Beautiful! So this time, now you've got your confidence exactly the same, I'm going to be a bit in front of you walking back with you if that's okay. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, yeah, just right in the middle of the tree. That's yeah, exactly. And I'm going to be about here. So for this shot, I'm basically going to stay in front of Miriam, try and get relatively wide, but shoot low and up, making that dress work, Miriam. Go, go, go! Yes. Perfect. And just looking straight at me? Yeah. Cool. Perfect. Thank you very much. Now we're going to go to the beach. <laughs> Very Spielberg. <laughs> so we're still on our way to the beach and I've spotted this cool wall, which is gonna be it's gonna be a very minimalist, simplistic shot, but sometimes those can be the most effective. So what I'm gonna actually do, Mira, if you don't mind, is just to stand. I want this this gap here to be okay. behind you. So I think if you can stand about here okay. and I'll I'll then frame it up so that, that gap is behind you. I'm on my 85mm this time. I'm gonna try and keep Miriam just in that gap. That, so if you don't mind, if I can actually just sort of stand like oh. that. Beautiful. <laughs> actually I've got to say the truth. I did just ask Miriam to do this off camera and she tried very well then to make it look natural. <laughs> so yeah we've already discussed what we're going to do. Just let these people pass. But yeah it looked it looked you I really admire the fact that you yeah, yeah. went with it. <laughs> Exactly, you owned it. Make sure this is on. It's so bright here, even though it's still cloudy, it's hard to see if this is on, but it is. Yeah, it is on. Okay, so we're going to do that pose, Mary, if that's okay. That's it, perfect. Beautiful. That's good, your hair, the way your hair moves there. Beautiful. Good little trick sometimes to make something just look a bit different. We've got this metal bar here. So I'm going to go on this side. 
And because I'm shooting at 1.8, anything I put in front of the lens goes a little bit sort of very out of focus. So by doing this, it's just gonna just make the foreground blend into white. That's beautiful, perfect. And if you can just be moving your hair about for me, if that's all right. Yeah, it's good. Just looking up to the light, mirror as you're doing that. Yeah, that's good. That's actually, what happens if you do that with your hair? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. And then as you sort of swish, we're actually to look okay. up to the light, up to the sun as you're swishing. That's good. And just one more time, if that's okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. That was brilliant. Let me just check we got that. So I shot that on burst mode, just to give them the best chance of getting it. Now to the beach. <laughs> so we're gonna do this properly. We're gonna have to strip off for this. Don't worry, I'll keep my jeans on. Okay, Miriam, so I'll ask you to walk down here, if that's okay, then walking back, if you can sort of stay as close to the water as you can without getting too wet, and I'm going to do the same. So, quite a bit further, if that's okay, I'm going to ask you to go. Oh! Oh! No, no, don't worry. That's okay, that's okay. Oh, Miriam, it's gone. The sea took it out. Yeah, and for me to make this look effective, I want to try. Oh. Say, I've never felt as British as I do right now. Say something. Just good luck to me, I think. I'm gonna get low and hopefully not, not get my backside wet. Again, we're at F1.8, ISO 100. At 1600 shutter speed. Yeah! Just looking into the light! Amazing! Ah, brilliant! That was perfect! I tell you what, I was going to do one more time on the 50. Just got, for the very last shot of the day, I'm going to do the same thing but on a 50 mil and try and go shoot at 1.2. So there's no yeah, way I'll... I'm going to go into the water with Neil. <laughs> Why? It's fine! Whoa. Okay, so for these last shots on the Canon 50mm 1.2, I'd like to shoot this at 1.2, but my shutter speed is going to have to go to 3200. High five! <laughs> We did it! Thank you so much Miriam, you were amazing. So I'm going to show you on the screen now my favourite shots from this shoot. to Chuck for inviting me to Malaga to shoot his destination wedding yesterday. That was an incredible experience. And a huge thank you to Miriam for doing an amazing job modeling today. You were incredible, thank you. So as I mentioned before, go and check Miriam's Instagram out and go and give her a follow because she's been brilliant today. So as always, if you have any questions about anything I'm doing this shoot, please do let me know. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Adios. <laughs>